Now, hey, let's have a great period here. Let's have a great period. Let's go. A coach is only as good as his leaders. We're on air. Ball shouldn't be on the ground. We're on air. Ball shouldn't be on the ground. Let's work. O'Galley's Chris Sands <laughs> has been lucky to have a few. Work, work. Spin it. Good. Good, Mari. Good, Mari. Senior Jamari Nelson is the starting receiver and safety. Jamari is O'Galley football to a T. Um, he's the core of our team. <laughs> Hardworking and humble, Jamari hopes to play next season at UConn, and after that, the NFL. Enough is never enough for me, so I just gotta keep going and keep going, because I ain't make it yet, so I gotta keep going so I get there. He's driven by his family and a love for his mother. That's every time I gotta go harder, it's, it's for her, not for me, for her. How proud are you of your son? Very proud. Very proud. I'm proud of him. Krishonda May is about to send one son to college. You could say she has another that's already there. With everything you've been through, what does the word family mean to you? The word family, um, it, it means a lot of different things. To me, just, I don't know, commitment, love. Jared Baker Jr. is a redshirt freshman receiver at UCF. He used to wear number five at O'Galley, just like his best friend does now. He better wear it good. That's all I gotta say. He, 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 it's, it's a lot of weight that come with that number. Since he had it, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it going, and then hopefully my brothers are here. They get here. They ain't get number five too. Jared and Jamari have been inseparable since they were kids. That's my little brother. He, he know that. <laughs> he know that. My game is really from him, really. You know, my route running, from route running to catching the ball, he's just always been there telling me, this is what you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. Growing up, both of their fathers were in prison. They had each other, and they had football. When we were younger, he used to do everything I used to do, so that that kind of helped me, like, stay on track, because I know I don't, anything I do, he gonna do, so I don't want him to get in trouble. Football and friendship was enough, until it wasn't. I guess I ain't had no choice but to take on some things that some 10th graders normally don't have to do. In 2016, Jared's mother suddenly passed away. In one of his most challenging moments, a friend became family. You know, that was a hard time for Jared. And you know, we just woke him into our house because he's been there, you know, since 2010. Since really, since I've been little, he's been there. By Jared's senior year, he had moved into Jamari's house. I took him in. I went through that when I was in high school. I left my mom's house and a friend of mine and her mom took me in, so I just felt like I was just paying back my dues. To this day, he considers Jamari's family his own. I don't know, they open their arms, loving arms. That's why I can't stress it enough how much I love Jamari's mom. I know I probably don't say it enough, but if she see this, I love you. Krishanda May, I love you. Do you feel like you'd be where you are today without him and his family? Definitely not. Definitely not. I, I, my mom, she always is still, you know, hard work in me already. So I, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't be successful, but they were a huge help. They were a huge help. In O'Galley, Pat Welter, Spectrum Sports 360.